The Biden administration on Wednesday extended a U.S. mandate requiring travelers to wear masks on airplanes, trains, and in transit hubs by 15 days. The move comes amid a recent uptick in COVID-19 cases and would keep the requirements in place through May 3rd. Citing the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said the order was needed to monitor the recent rise of cases and the spread of the COVID-19 subvariant BA2, making up 85% of U.S. cases. What they're looking at is that since early April, there's been an increase in the seven-day moving average of the cases in the United States. So what they're trying to do is give a little bit more time to assess its potential impact, the rise of the cases have on severe disease, including hospitalizations and deaths and the healthcare system capacity. Industry groups and Republican lawmakers want the administration to immediately end the 14-month-old mask mandate, while Airlines for America, a trade group, on Wednesday in a letter urged Biden's administration to lean into science and research, which clearly support lifting the mask mandate. Last month, the U.S. Senate voted 57 to 40 to overturn the public health order requiring masks on airplanes and other forms of public transportation, drawing a veto threat from Biden. The CDC first issued a public health order requiring masks in interstate transportation and at transit hubs in February 2021. The Transportation Security Administration then enforced that order.